we are with the family of Abba Beta. He's with his grandchildren. He's with his son Zeb. With uh, Zeb's wife and their children. We want them to stand up. Thank you, Zeb, to, to bring your family here with your father and your wife and children. Uh, it's a great honor for us. Thank you, mom, to come with your children. So, this shows that Rwanda is your next country. Maybe soon you will relocate to Rwanda. <laughs> So you are welcome. This is your church. This is your home. Come, relocate here. This is your your country. Actually, yesterday night we we made a prophetic uh, symbol. Uh, Ethiopia and Rwanda are the same. So you don't have even to ask for visa. Come, just stay. This is your country. Ejo ni mugoroba twakoze ikintu cy'ubuhanuzi aho tuvuga ko Ethiopia no Rwanda byabaye igihugu kimwe. And uh, we thank uh, our Abba, our father Beta, for his compassion and love and zeal for the work of the Lord. Uh, he's old but still young. He, he's doing great things in Africa. Just you see, just he's sitting there as a simple person, but he's. Uh, I can say he's wonderful. He's fantastic. And it, it was our honor to surrender to give him Africa rights. Just to become a patron. Africa arises and needs a father. Africa haguruka niwe mubyeyi wayo needs a father Africa and he is thank you so much for accepting to become a father of Africa a patriot and we know we will now have access to the higher level and Africa shall go as a narrow. Kandi Africa is again the homeambi. You see, don't do something without a cover. Nuga Korichin without Kichiriwe. Otherwise, we fail. Now, who wanted to rat Jesus needed a cover. Yes, we are can a good quickigua. Every word, Umunuese, more than. 65 times in Bible he was saying my father my father, my father. I cannot do something without my father he was a cover so don't do anything without a spiritual cover people don't understand but it is very crucial. Okay, anyway. Let me stop so we can go in the word. The person who's teaching us this morning is someone who has been trained by his father, who is Zeb. Zeb Zeb is a servant of God. He collaborates with his father in Ethiopia. He has uh, 
compassion in him or godliness or godliness in him we met with Zeb in Bethlehem we were known from writing to each other we wrote to each other but before I used to write to his father then the next day we wrote to each other there is someone from them who came from Ethiopia to come here to talk to me about Africa Arise I think Christine she came and she found me in my office and she said you are doing Africa Arise but I would like you to come to Ethiopia so to see what God is doing there so we planned it I said I cannot come before but I will invite you to come first so we try to so we tried to invite him but the time was not working so it was not really matching the schedule then I met with Zeb in Bethlehem I was with a team that went with me in Israel Zeb was also with a, a team from Ethiopia and he was with his mother so we were there on our side and they were on their side or eating in Bethlehem and then I saw I saw someone coming and he said you are Gitkwaza and I said I am and who are you and say I am Zeb and everything else don't ask me that's when we connected and I said please come to run and he said I will come that's when he came here last year to teach us and then he told me to go to their place and we kept arguing and I won <laughs> so he first came to Rwanda so there is something very interesting me and Zeb we were taught by our fathers second we were born in the same year the third we were born in the same month I don't know what God does but he's a servant of God he's a servant of God Zeb I will ask the church to stand up so we can welcome him welcome him welcome I forgot to acknowledge the presence of Dr. Samuel in the congregation and we'll be with him tomorrow in the evening listen to me if I tell you that someone is wise please take my word smart, he is smart take my word for that is true. He's very smart. And Barbara is also very smart. <laughs> the Bible says that Moses said, I cannot speak. And God said, Don't worry, Aaron can speak. So Barbara is my Aaron today. Please be seated in the presence of God. It's an honor, an honor, an honor to be here with you again. And we're so grateful for all of you and your leadership 
and uh, and this house tukaba dushima imana kubganya umwese ndetse nabayobozi biri torero now i'm just like family so i'm not a guest speaker uyu munsi rando yango ntimufate nk'umushitsi ahubwo mumfate nka mwene wanyu waje guterana namwe iki gitondo amen amen i am how how do you say benedata muri benedata muri benedata yeah so uh, i just want to go into a word uh, for today that the lord has uh, put in my heart reka twinjire mu ijambo ry'imana imana yashize ku mutima wanje it's a great privilege to be uh, here with my father na mahirwe akomeye kuba ndi kumwe na papa muri iki gitondo and uh, with my family aba ndi kumwe n'umuryango wanje we love rwanda dukunda rwanda rwanda is home rwanda ni wacu we believe that the best is yet to come turizera tudashidikanya ko ibyiza biri imbere we believe we have something i don't know if i shared this last year or not but our vision is very simple sinibaza ko wenda nabivuze umwaka ushize ariko reka mbisubiremo ngo iyerekwa dufite riroroheje cyane and only ethiopia and rwanda can really understand this kandi ryo yerekwa dufite ryakumvwa n'urwanda na ethiopia gusa in short our vision is to see the hands of begging everybody put your hands like this mu shiri biganza byanyu imbere yanyu and see the hands of begging turn into hands of blessing yere kwa dufite no kubona amaboko asabiriza areka gusabiriza ahubwa gahesha umugisha amen um go with me please to Joshua chapter 7 reka mbasabe tujye muri Yosuwa karindwi and i just want to bring a word in line with the theme of this year's conference ijambo mfite rirahuza n'insanganyamatsiko y'iki giterane turimo the lord said to joshua hari jambo imana yabwiye yosua stand up imana yabwiye yosua ngo haguruka what are you doing down on your face ese ni kuki cyangwa se niki gitumye ugwa ububamye Yosuwa 7:10 um the other version says why are you down uh, on your or it says the same thing what are you doing down on your face hari zindi version za bibilia cyangwa se izindi nyandiko bavuga batese ni guki ni kuki wunamye kumaso cyangwa se kuki urimo kureba hasi now stay right there with me in Joshua I would like us to just uh, uh, go to Joshua chapter 5 in that area and I would like us to read verses 10 to 12 Muzirikane Yosuwa karindwe 10 aho tumaze gusoma ariko dusubira inyuma gato muri Yosuwa gatano murongo wa 10 kugeza kwa 12 and it says on the evening of the 14th day of the month while camped at Gilgal on the plains of Jericho the Israelites celebrated the Passover the day after the Passover that very day they ate some of the produce of the land unleavened bread and roasted grain the manna stopped the day after they ate this food from the land there was no longer any manna for the Israelites but that year they ate of the produce of Cana Bibiliya ravuga ngo nuko abisiraeli babamba mahema igirugali baziririza pasika ku munsi wa 14 w'ukwezi ni mugoroba mu kibaya kiyeriko bukeye bw'umunsi wa pasika uwo munsi nyine bawuryaho ibigugu by'ingano zo muri cyo gihugu no dutsima tutasembuwe nibigori bikaranze nuko bukeye bw'uwo munsi baririyeho ibigugu by'ingano zo muri cyo gihugu manu ntiyongera kuboneka abisiraeli ntibongera kubona manu kundi ahubwo uwo mwaka barya imyaka y'igihugu kikanani amen amen it says the manna stopped bibiri ratubwira ngo ntibongeye kubona manu ukundi i just want to preach a word that i feel very much resonates with the vision of africa arise ijambo nshaka kubabwiriza iki gitondo ndumva ari gendana cyane ni yerekwa y'igiterane africa haguruka the manna stopped manu ntibongera kwibona ukundi 
Now those of you who know your Bible, you know what manna is. Abasomyi ba Bibiliya muzi cyo manu ivuga Manna was the supernatural food that God provided for the children of Israel Ma while they were in the wilderness. Manu ni biryo by'igitangaza Imana yagaburiye abisiraeli mu rugendo bafashe bambuka ubutayo. And particularly for this generation, manna was the only food they had ever known. Igitangaje kandi nuko uru rubyaro rwinjiye ikanani nta bindi biryo bari barigeze kumenya usibye yo manu bariye mu butayo kugeza bambuka. So if you really want to destabilize a people, you stop the manna. Ushatse gutera abantu gucanganikirwa wahagarika manu yabo cyangwa si biryo bamenyere. Because if you stop the manna it immediately starts the mind thinking, what are we going to eat now? Urabizi neza kuhagaritse ibiryo cyangwa se manu bamenyereye ikintu bahita bibaza no kwibaza bati turabaho dute turarya iki How do we sustain ourselves now Turabaho dute How will we survive now Tuzabeshwaho niki And the second thing that made this even Shwaho niki And the second thing that made this even more complicated is 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 who is the one who who gave them the manna Ikindi kintu rero cyari gitumye batumva neza ni ikintu cyo kwibaza ngo ninde wabahaga iyo manu It's a question who gave the manna Reka namwe mbabaze nti ninde wabagaburiraga iyo manu Ninde wabagaburiraga iyo manu Yeah it's God who gave the manna Imana niyo yabahaga manu For 40 years every day God gave the manna Imana yamaze imyaka 40 ibagaburira manu that means if God gave the manna, it also means now that God stopped the manna. Nibi manna niyo yabagaburiraga manu, imana niyo yabyutse yiyemeza guhagarika ya manu yabagaburiraga. So now the questions shift from no more manna to what's the matter with God? Ikibazo rero bakivanye mu kwibaza ngo manu ninde wayihagaritse batangira kwibaza batari ko imana yabaye iki cyangwa se yabaye ite? And the tradition of the children of Israel was whenever somebody touched their food and water they began to complain against God against Moses against everybody Umuco abisiraeli bari bafite nuko iyo ibiryo cyangwa amazi banywaga byahagararaga bahitaga bahindukirira imana ndetse na Mose bagatangira kwitotomba niyo kamere bari bafite ibiryo byahagarara intonganya zigatangira But this generation was different Ariko uru rubyaro rwari rutandukanye because they didn't complain kuko turareba tugasanga bo batari totombye their fathers were a complaining generation but this generation did not complain urubyaro rwabase rwari urubyaro rwitotomba rugatongana ariko uru ntabwo rwari ruzi kwitotomba i'm speaking to zion temple generation this generation does not complain Ndimo ndaganiriza urubyaro rw'uyu munsi rwa Zion Temple urubyaro rutitotomba because if the man has stopped kuko manu ni hagarara it's okay nta kibazo because it means now we will eat the produce of the land kuko manu ihagaze biba bisobanura ko tugiye kurya ibyera mu gihugu and i would like to declare today naje kwamamaza muri iki gitondo that it is time to stop relying on the manna. Ko hageze ko mureka gutumbera man. And it is time for Africa ha to start eating the produce of the land. Hageze ko Africa itangira kurya ibyera mu butaka bwayo ikareka gutumbera man. It is enough of manna. Birahagije manu twarira hagije. It is time to start eating the produce. Ahubwo hageze kurya ibiryo byera mu butaka. Um, both feed you. Jombi birakugaburira. Manna feeds you and the produce feeds you. Manna irakugaburira ariko nibyera mu butaka nabyo birakugaburira. But produce is different from manna. Ariko ibyera mu butaka bitandukanye na manu. Uh, uh, the word produce i don't know how we say it in kenya rwanda but in english the word produce is a powerful word ijambo ibyera mu butaka mu cyongereza uko bisobanuye ni jambo rikomeye cyane ry'imbaraga mana means it was the word they gave to the food because they says what is it they don't know what it was 
manu nizi na vise ibi ni manari iba gaburi yeba tazu kubjit kwa bahitamo kubjita manu so you eat and you are satisfied but you don't know what it was ukarja uga haga ari kutazi bju haze ni vichi produce is very different ari kibjena mwuta kabira tandu kanyi it says it's because it produce ni ibjera ibjavuye ibjabja wenu butaka produce ibjabja we ibjasaru wenu butaka we get the idea of produce it goes all the way back to genesis iyo dutekere jero kubiva mu butaka dusubira mwitangiriro everything that god made and created in genesis he created with seed in it ibintu byose imana yaremye mu gitabo cyitangiriro dusanga yarabibaga imbuto hari imbuto muri buri kiremwa so because of the seed kubera ya mbuto you will eat now uzarya but because of the seed you will also eat tomorrow ariko nanone kubera iyo mbuto igihari nejo uzarya kuko uzabiba because he put the produce in the 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 provision umusaruro uva muri cyo imana yatanze muri iyo mbuto which means that now they have a responsibility not only for the food but also for the seed muyandi magambo bari bahawe inshingano zo kurya ibiryo yego ariko no kwita kuri iyo mbuto imana yabahaye it means that god is shifting them from a miracle life to a blessing life bivuga yuko imana irimo kubavana mu buzima bw'ibitangaza ibinjiza mu buzima bw'umugisha if i have a choice between a miracle and a blessing i will take the blessing Jewe rero mbaye uhitamo hagati y'igitangaza n'umugisha na hitamo umugisha because the miracle is just for now Kubera ko umugisha igitangaza ni cyakanya gato The blessing has the power to produce Ariko umugisha ufite imbaraga zo kuguma wisubiramo no kubyara undi mugisha We have inherited the blessing of Abraham Twaha umugisha wa Abraham The blessing on Abraham was that he would be fruitful and multiply. Umugisha wari kuri Abraham wari wo kubyara no kwikuba no kwaguka. That blessing was the same blessing that God gave to Noah that he would be fruitful and multiply. Uwo mugisha nanone ni w'Imana yari yarahaye Noah ngo azabyara azunguka azikuba. Which was the same blessing that God put on Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply. Ni nawo mugisha Imana yari yarahaye Adam na Eva ngo ni mwororoke ni mwaguke ni mwikube. God did not say I will give you a miracle. He said I will bless you. Imana ntigeze ivuga ngo nzagukorera igitangaza. Yaravuze ngo nzaguhumugisha. I will give you a strategy so you can eat today and tomorrow and the day after and feed others and through you all nations of the earth will be blessed. Muyandi magambo Imana yari irimo ivuga ngo nzaguhumugisha, nzaguha strategy, nzaguha ingamba kugira ngo ubashe kuryo uyu munsi nejo uzarye, nejo bundu uzarye nabana bawe bazahore bafite ibyo kurya si igitangaza kimboneka rimwe gusa So the greatest thing that happened to the children of Israel was the day the manna stopped Igitangaza nyamukuru rero Imana yakoreye abisiraeli no guhagarika manu It's a shift from manna to produce Yabavanaga muri manu no kurya ibyera mu butaka umusaruro It's a shift from infancy to maturity Imana yabavanaga mu bwana ibinjiza mu bukure gukura bakaba bagabo It's a shift from a miracle to the blessing Imana yabavanaga mu gitangaza ibinjiza mu mugisha God said I will bless you and cause you to be a blessing Imana iravuga ngo nzaguha umugisha ndetse nguheshe kuba umugisha wa mahanga Go with me please to the book of Hebrews chapter 3 Reka tunyarukire mu Baheburayo gatatu And we're going to begin reading from verse number 7 Turasoma urwandiko rwandikiye abaheburayo igice ni cyagatatu turasoma kuva ku mamurongo wa 7 um now what i'm going to do i'll just skip because it's a lot but there's some things just a few verses i'll tell you which verse to read um verse 7 says uh, verse 7 uh yeah verse 7 and 8 so as the holy spirit says today if you hear his voice 
Do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion during the time of testing in the desert. Okay. Um, a verse number 15 again as has just been said today if you hear his voice do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion okay so now jump down to chapter 4 and verse number 7 Therefore God again set a certain day calling it today when a time uh, when, when a long time later he spoke through David as was said before today if you hear his voice do not harden your hearts Murongo wa karindwi Imana yongera gutoranya umunsi ari wo uyu munsi ivugira mu kanwa ka Dawidi nubwo hashize igihe kirekire cyane ya magambo yamaze kuvugwa haruguru ngo uyu munsi ni mwumvishwe iryayo ntimwinangira imitima Now I don't know about you how si, you grew up Sinzu ko wowe wakuze but when uh, when my mother really uh, was insistent on getting my attention because I was not listening she would repeat the same thing again and again and again. Sinzu ko wowe wakuze ariko je uburyo nakuze iyo mama yashakaga kureba ngo ikintu ndacyumvise yansubiriragamo ishuro nyinshi akaguma subiramo asubiramo asubiramo. In my in our family my mother would get so focused on calling them that she would mix our names up of our me and my brothers. Akenshi rero iyo mama yabaga yemeje kugira ikintu atubwira byaramucangaga ugasanga ari mara twitiranya nuko nabari umuntu abange tuvukana akaguma duhamagara twese cyarimwe ari kadusubiriramo cyakintu ashaka kuvuga She would call me Aman that's my brother's name Fite mu rumuna wange twa Aman akanyita Aman And I would say no 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 that's over there Nkavuga no you uhamagaye ari hiri This is no Ezi that's my other brother Akampamagara no, Ezi no, 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 undi no, no, tuvukana and, and because she is so animated she wants to get her point across so it became a joke in our house and it was so funny until I had children of my own and now, just about every day I'm confusing their name and, and now they're laughing at me for now for now but when an instruction is given repeatedly 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 you have to pay attention if it's written three times today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart again and again and again it must tell me that my heart is hard and I'm not hearing his voice. And it also tells me that I don't hear God with my ear. I hear God with my this is why Jesus would say he who has ears to hear let him hear what the spirit of God is saying what do you mean Jesus everybody can hear you no when it comes to things of the spirit we don't listen with our ears we listen with our heart when it comes to the things of the spirit we don't see with our eyes we see with our heart and I think what Jesus is doing in between all of these three times what God is doing in this passage he's telling us again and again don't miss this don't miss what I'm saying in here three times in the space of a few verses. 
muri iyi mirongo dusomye ikurikirana Yesu arimo gusubira muri jambo ngo ntimwinangira imitima agira ngo dutega amatwi twumve imitima yacu nitakaze aya mahirwe agiye gukora mu kintu kidasanzwe so then it raises the question what is it that this passage is talking about because we have he's really trying to emphasize this point for us noneho nimba imana yashimangiye iyi mirongo niki noneho ishaka ko tubona cyangwa twakira nyuma y'iyi mirongo and if you read the passage he is connecting the journeys of the children of israel with our own lives as believers in christ jesus iyo somye neza iyi mirongo usanga arimo guhuza urugendo abisiraeli bafashe ndetse n'urugendo twebwe abakristo dufata cyangwa se tugenda muri ubu buzima bwo kwizera Yesu meaning the story of the children of Israel is not a story only about them it is also a story about us bivuga iki iyi nkuru y'ubwoko bwa Abisiraeli si inkuru ibareba gusa cyangwa yabo ahubwo ni inkuru inatureba twebwe mu buzima bw'uyu munsi It, with the children of Israel you know the story they came out of Egypt they came into the wilderness and they came into the promised land You so myeneza usanga abisiraeli barahagurutse bakava muri Egiputa bakanyura mu butayu baza gusoreza ikanani Moses brought them out of Egypt Joshua brought them into their promised land Mose abahagurukije muri Egiputa hanyuma Yoshua abinjiza ikanani Manna was the food of the wilderness produce of the land was the food of the promised land Manu yari ibiryo byo mu butayu ariko ibyera mu butaka nibyo bariye bageze kanani So the goal of the journey was produce Intego y'urugendo yaro kugera kanani bakarya ibiryo byera mu butaka The goal of the of the journey was produce Intego y'urugendo rwose bafashe yaro kugera mu gihugu cy'amasezerano aho barya ibyera mu butaka It was the goal for them Niyo yari intego kubwabo And it is the goal for you Ni nayo ntego kubuzima bwawe Produce Kurya ibyera mu butaka Eat the produce Bya ibyera mu butaka Produce and eat the produce Bya ibyera wongera ubibe byongere byere wongera ubirye wongera ubibibe wongera ubirye Today Uyu munsi if you hear his voice Ni umvijwe iryayo Do not harden your heart Ni winangira umutima Today Uyu munsi If you hear his voice Ni umvijwe iryayo Do not harden your heart No nangira umutima wawe Three times Gatatu Again and again and again Buri gihe basubiramo Because if you miss the produce Kubera yuko ibyera mu butaka nibigucika You will be stuck with manna Uzaguma kuri yo manu And manna was a sustenance but it was never God's will for your life Manu yari ibyo mu butayu ariko ntabwo ariyo yari intego nyamukuru y'Imana ku buzima bwabo ndetse no ku buzima bwawe You have been called and called in Christ Jesus to produce Wahamagawe muri Kristo Yesu gutanga umusaruro kubyara to be fruitful kororoka to multiply ndetse no gukuba kenshi fill the earth ukuzurisi and subdue kandi ukayitegeka i think this is a message for africa arise ge numva ubutumwa ari ubwa africa haguruka because in africa we have a lot of spirituality kubera yuko muri africa turabanyamuka cyane a lot of miracles dukunda ibitangaza cyane a lot of manna dukunda manu cyane we have the most anointed programs and services no one can praise like africans tugira amateraniro asizwa amavuta nta muntu wahimbaza cyangwa ngo asenge cyangwa ngo avuge ubutumwa nk'abanyafrika but after we have praised ariko iyo twamaze guhimbaza after we have experienced miracles iyo twamaze kubona ibitangaza after we have received a prophecy iyo twa All of us go home. Twese turataha to manna. Tukajya kurya manna. Manna was just enough to make it to the end of the month. Ariko rero manu yari yo kubageza ku mpera z'umunsi cyangwa se manu ikugeza ku mpera z'ukwezi gusa ukabona indi. Manna was just enough to eat so that i could make it to the next day manu bayirya guwo munsi bagategereza indi zaze ejo ntibayibikaga but we praise turahimbas you see africa arise is not just about praise africa haguruka si igiterane cyo kubyina africa arise is shifting us from a manner lifestyle 
to produce Africa haguruka ni giterane cyazanywe kugira ngo kituvane mu mibereho yo gutungwa mano kitwinjize mu mibereho yo gutanga umusaruro Today uyu munsi rero If you hear his voice Ni umvijwe iryahe Do not harden your heart Ntunangira umutima wawe Today uyu munsi You know the journey of the wilderness it could have been made in just 30 days Muziko urugendo rwo mu butayu bari ku rugendo But because of the hardness of their heart it took 40 years. Ariko kubera kwinangira ku mitima yabo byabatwaye imyaka 40. The plan was always produce. Imana intego nyamukuru yari ifite no kubagezaho batanga umusaruro wabo. So I just want to help you as Africans to think about how we can shift our mind from manner to produce. Nk'abanyafrika rero ndagira ngo mbafashe muri iki gitondo dutekereze uburyo twava kuri manu tukinjira mu buzima bw'umusaruro. I just want to share a small principle and give a few testimonies. Ndashaka kubaha ubuhamya ariko bushingiye ku ihame nshaka kubabwira muri iki gitondo. Is that okay? Hari cyo bibatwaye mbibabwiye. You know the first to complain is always us. Muziko dukunda kwitotomba sibyo. Because we say ah pastor Z is a good message but Muzukuntu abakristo tujya tumera turavuga tuti pastor zi wigishije neza ariko I don't have uh, opportunity Ariko sifita mahirwe If there was an opportunity I could grab it and I could produce Iyaba nange nabonaga mahirwe naya singira nange nkitangira umusaruro But there's no opportunity for me like ariko, other people Ariko singira mahirwe nk'abandi bose If I was given opportunity you watch how I produce Pasta ndamutsembonye amahirwe wareba uburyo natanga umusaruro But let me tell you how opportunity works Rekaramba mbabwira ukuntu amahirwe akora You see opportunity is not out there Amahirwe ntabwo bari hanze hiryiri Opportunity is right here Amahirwe aba mu mutima I want to say that again Reka mbisubiremo Opportunity is not out there Amahirwe ntabwo ari hanze hirya Opportunity is right here Amahirwe aba mu mutima And this is how opportunity works. Doruko mahirwa akora rero. If you work the opportunity that is here. Iyo witonde cyangwa ugakoresha mahirwa ufite mu mutima wawe. Faithful with the little thing that is right here. Ukabumwizerwa kuri twatundi duke wita duke mu mutima wawe. Without even working for it. Utanabikoreye cyane. Opportunity will come looking for you. Ibyo wita mahirwe yo hanze nibyo biza bisanga kiriya wakoresheje cyo mu mutima wawe. Because you have worked the opportunity that God has given you. Kuko wakoresheje ya mahirwe Imana yabitse muri wowe. Opportunity comes looking for you. Ari ya mahirwe Imana yabitse mu mutima wawe ahamagaza ibyo wita mahirwe yo hanze kugusanga. Everybody has something. Niyo mpamvu mbabwira ngo buri muntu wese afite ikintu muri we. It may not be a lot but it's something. Gishobora kuba tari kinini cyangwa tari byinshi ariko kirahari. If we take that little and start to work to produce it. Icyo rero dufite dutangiye kugikoresha cyabyara umusaruro. You will never be without opportunity. Ntabwo wavuga ngo nta mahirwe ufite. Uhi ufite amahirwe. The challenge in Africa is that we don't we have we don't have a little we actually have a lot ikibazo rero afrika ifite suko dufite biki ahubwo dufite byinshi cyane but because we don't work with the opportunity we have we miss every opportunity that was supposed to be coming to us ariko kuko kenshi tudakoresha amahirwe twahawe usanga nibyo twita amahirwe yo hanze iyo bije tubitakaza kuko nubundi ntacyo turimo turakoresha ibyo twahawe you see The consumer will always be the slave to the producer. Ukoresha ibintu ahora ari imbata y'umuha ibyo bintu akoresha. Uhora uhatwe n'ukugaburira cyangwa uguha ibikoresha. America is generally a consumer society. Abanyamerika ni abantu bakunda gukoresha ibintu. China is generally a producing society. Abashinwa nabo nubwoko butanga umusaruro cyangwa bubyara ibyo bikoresho abanyamerika bakenera gukoresha mu buzima bwa buri munsi. And although the numbers have changed in recent years for many many years, eh, who was the who were owned America's 20 trillion dollar debt? 
ariko imibare imaze guhinduka uko imyaka yagiye itambuka ariko iyo urebye neza usanga Amerika iri mideni rya miliyari nyinshi cyane zigera kuri 20 zirenga mu bashinwa ifite ideni abashinwa who owned it ninde warufite iryo deni mbere yuko biba rero China abashinwa nibo bari mu ideni Amerika because the consumer will always be the servant of the producer kubera iki iyo ukora ibintu iyo ukoresha ibintu cyangwa ugurira umuntu akenshi araguhaka meaning that how uh, how uh, america sees a tomato and how china sees a tomato the same tomato is different bivuga iki uburyo umunyamerika abona urunyanya bitandukanye n'uburyo umushinwa abona urunyanya America sees the tomato and says look what I can eat. Iyo munya America bonye urunyanya ahita vuga ati doro urunyanya ngiye kurya. China looks at the same tomato and says look at the seed inside that tomato. Umushinwa yareba urunyanya ati doro imbuto ziri muri ruri ya runyanya. Produce. Umusaruro. It's the same tomato. Urunyanya ni rumwe. It's just seen differently. Ariko babibona mu buryo butandukanye. One sees something to eat right now, manna. Umunya America abona manu, urunyanya ngiye kurya ubunona ha. The other one sees how they can produce. Umushinwa and produce. And produce. Umushinwa kareba imbuto yabiba akabyara izindi nyanya nyinshi. So the consumer will be the servant of the producer. Ugura rero ahora hatswe nuwo agurira. Today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart as you did nangira umutima Today uyu munsi a few months ago hashize amezi make in our church we had some some people who come from the Mind Institute in Seoul Korea twakiriye abashitsi bavuye i Seoul muri Korea mu kigo kitwa Mind Institute And in Seoul Korea many of you maybe know the story it used to be one of the poorest nations in the world in the last 60 years it has grown to become one of the strongest economies in the world Abazi amateka ya Korea ya Majepfo cyane cyane no muri aka gace ki Seoul muziko imyaka 60 ishize cyari igihugu gikenye cyane ariko ubu kimaze kuba kimwe mu bihugu bitunze bikomeye And they were teaching us in Ethiopia they even came to our church and they taught our, our church abo bantu rero barimo kutwigisha ndetse twabatumiye no mu rusengero rwacu baza kutwigisha and they said something very powerful hari jambo rikomeye bavuze he said the only thing that changed for us baratubwiye bati ikintu cyonyine cyahindutse muri twebwe was a small little mind shift twahinduye imitekerereze gato they said it was, you know it wasn't a touch power oh, no just a ba small little just a small little mind shift baratubwiye bati ntabwo imana yadukozeho ngo tuvuge indi mitwe ikubite hasi oya harakantu twahinduye mu buryo dutekereza gato gusa they told us some things i had never heard before abo bagabo bo muri korea batubwiye amajambo ntigeze numva did you know that south korea is the number one exporter of of refined petroleum around the world number one wabuzi ko Korea ya Majepfo ari cyo gihugu kigurisha ibitoro ibitoro hanze kwisi cyambere But this is the amazing thing Dore gitangaje There is not a drop of oil in South Korea Muri Korea nta bitoro bihaba ariko nibo bambere babigurisha kwisi Did you know that the number three exporter of coffee in the world is South Korea Wabuzi ko Korea ya Majepfo ari cyo gihugu cya gatatu kwisi kigurisha ikawa cya gatatu kwisi And did you know there is not a single coffee tree in all of South Korea? Waruzi ko badahinga ikawa muri Korea ya Majepfo They said uh, like a normal person would say Bavuga nko umuntu usanzwe yavuga We don't have coffee Nta kawa dufite We cannot get into the coffee business Ntabwo twakwinjira mu bucuruzi bw'ikawa The normal person would say we don't have oil we cannot eh, export oil umutura gusanzwe cyangwa igihugu gisanzwe cyavuga kiti nta bitoro dufite mu butaka rero ubwo bucuruzi nitubwinjiramo but just a little mind shift ariko guhindura gati mitekerereze just because we don't have oil nubwo tudafite ibitoro it does not mean we cannot export oil nibivuga ko tutagurisha ibitoro 
So they bring raw oil, raw crude into the country. Dore roho babigenza bazana ibitoro batanyushije mu Rwanda muri Korea ya Majepfo. And they have oil refineries. Noneho bakagira inganda zitunganya mafuta. And they export finished products. Bagaita bayigurisha hands. Number 1 in the world. Nicyo gihugu cy'ambere kwisi kigurisha petrol. They, they bring the raw bean. Bazana ikawa imbuto zikawa. They refine it. Bakazishira mu nganda zabo number 3 exporter of coffee in the world No no bakazigurisha kwisi nicyo gihugu cyagatatu kwisi kigurisha ikawa nyinshi The man said the first coffee tree I saw was when I came to Africa Uwo mugabo yaravuze ati igiti cyambere cyikawa nabonye nakibonye ngeze muri Africa Today Ariko uyu munsi If you hear his voice Ni umva ijwi ryawe Do not harden your heart. Ni we nangira umutima. Africa needs you Af to produce. Africa ikeneye kwitangira umusaruro. Africa is the most blessed continent in the world. Africa no mugabane wa ha umugisha mwinshi kwisi. The future is in Africa. Ejo hazaza hari muri Africa. But the mind has not transformed to the place where we shift from a manner to produce. Ikibazo ntabwo imitekerereze yacu irahinduka gato ngo tuve muri mana twinjire mu byera mu butaka. Our mind is stuck on manna. Twebwe imitwe yacu iracyari kuri mana. It does not we could be sitting on a gold mine it doesn't make any difference. Niyo twaba twicaye kuri zahabu inganitse turacyatekereza mana. I believe it's time for us not only to shout. Nizera ntashidikanya ko nti tugomba gusakuza gusa but to produce ahubwo dutanga umusaruro get up haguruka and pr produce utanga umusaruro produce tanga umusaruro produce tanga umusaruro you have an opportunity ufite amahirwe use your opportunity koresha amahirwe if you use your opportunity you will never be without opportunity no koresha amahirwe ufite muri wowe ayo wita amahirwe yo hanze azizana This is why a little girl named Rosine can go all the way to Chad and represent the nation of Rwanda and in Addisaba. Niyo mpamvu umwana w'umukobwa nka Rosine yahaguruka akajya muri Chad aserukiye u Rwanda akaza kwisanga muri Ethiopia ari umunyarwanda kazi wagiye gutyo. Don't be jealous. Nugira ishyari. Eh? Eh, kamba sa. She's just producing. Ari maratanga umusaruro ntumugirira ishyari. This is why Dr. Gitwaza can get another doctor. Do we call him double doctor now? Niyo mavi ntumwa yabonye doctor ya kabiri ese tumwita doctor ikabiri sinzi nuko twamwita. Don't be jealous. No girisha. He's just producing. Ari maratanga umusaruro. He's taking what he has. Ari marakoresha ibyo afite muri we. He's using the opportunity that's been given him. Ari marakoresha amahirwe imana yamuteretsemo. And opportunity comes looking for him. Noneho ayo hanze akaza kurikira ibyo afite muri we. This is what Yes. Yego. There's something there that's ha. waiting, but today if you miss his voice hari ikintu kiraho gitegereje ariko nutakaza kumvira iryo jwi wumvise biragucika A few weeks ago I was in a conference in Kenya Hari igiterane nene nagiye mu muri Kenya hashize ibyumweru bike And I I was in a workshop and I listened to a man speak his name was Richard Njia Twari mu mahugurwa numva umugabo witwa Richard Njia arimo kuvuga arimo kwigisha A young man much younger than me Umusore muto kuri jewe talking about getting on the digital platform. uburyo twakwinjira mu mikoreshereze ya digital cyangwa se technology ya digital. Because he said all of you people who are trying to get on TV. Yararimavuga ati mwese murashaka kujya kuri television. You're reaching yesterday's generation. Ariko izo television mushaka kujyaho ni izo urubyaro rwashize. Today's generation is right here. Urubyaro rw'ubu ruri kuri telefone kuri digital. Then he said like this. Reka mvuge nya. Several thousand people there he said how many of you have turned on your tv this week hari abantu ibihumbi bice muri ayo mahugurwa arangije atubaza ati ni bande bacanye television muri iki cyumweru a few people abantu bake aho niho bari baheruka kureba television just this morning have checked all of your social media arangije atubaza ati ni bande mwahoze kuri social media kuri telefone zanyu bose bazamura ibiganze he said so the future is here arangije avuga ngo ejo hazaza ha technology hari muri telefone this young man started his own business with his phone. Uyu musore rero yatangiye ubucuruzi bwe ahereye kuri telefone atunze. He's a huge corporation but he does not even have an office. Uyu munsi 
ni chiko jikoma ya kandi nani viro afite we agendera kuri telefone yo gusa he was saying i just closed some business worth 14 million shillings yarani matubwira ati ndangije ukora deal cyangwa se ndangije kwemeranya amasezerano anyinjiriza miliyoni 14 za mashiringi is about 140000 dollars bingana na madorari bihumbi 140 on his phone kuri telefone ye opportunity amahirwe you can look at your phone and say i'm a consumer ushobora kureba telefone ukayireba nk'igikoresho gusa or you can look at the same phone and say i'm a producer cyangwa ukareba telefone ya ukavuga kuti nayibyaza umusaruro i was so amazed i mean i've known for a while but i heard the whole story just this week naratangaye cyane nari maze igihe nzayo makuru ariko icyo cyumweru byarantangaje pastor henry mugisha iki cyumweru rero nagira amahirwe yo kumva umushumba henry mugisha the dog man umugabo utoza imbwa some people they see a dog harabarebe imbwa I don't know in Africa you know when we see a dog we pick a stone. Abanya Afrika yo tubonye imbwa dutori buye kugira ngo tuyijugunye kuri iyo mbwa. But Henry saw a dog and say produce. Ariko Henry mugisha abonye imbwa abona umusaruro. It's already there. Imbwa iraho. It's already there. Amahirwe ari mu mutima we. Because he took advantage of his opportunity. We yakoresheje amahirwe ye. He now provides dogs for the royal family for the first family in Uganda. Uyu munsi Henry Mugisha ni utoza imbwa z'abakomeye guhera kuri president w'igihugu cy'Uganda. Opportunity comes looking for him. Amahirwe akurikira Henry Mugisha. Mm. A few years ago, hashize imyaka my, my brother started this shoe business. Fite murumuna murumuna wanje watangiye ubucuruzi bw'inkweto. African products for international export. Noneho agakoresha ibikoresho byo muri Afrika ariko akabigurisha hanze. Produce. Umusaruro. My brother. Mwene data. My wife heard his partner comes from Europe and he's a shoe designer. Noneho umwe mu bafatanya bikorwa n'uwo murumuna wanje ashushanya inkweto abiburayi. He's from Kenya but but he lives in Europe and he worked he used to work for Adidas making shoes. Yavuye muri Kenya numuvuki nikavukira ho muri Kenya ariko abiburayi ari hakorera uruganda rushushanya inkweto. And when they were looking at the leather he leather in Ethiopia. Noneho barebye uruhu rufa muri Ethiopia. He commented and said this leather is the best leather I have ever seen. Uwo mugabo aravuga ati uru ruhu ni rwo ruhu rwambere nabonye kwisi. My wife heard that word. Umufasha wanje yumva iryo jambo. And she said, "Hmm." Aravuga ati, "Hmm." Consumer producer. Ndakoresha cyangwa ndatanga. So she went and bought just a few little leather goods. Icyo umufasha wanje yakoze yaragiye agura uruhu. And she made, you know, just with her she, she's a designer. She Now, made a few accessories for women. Nawagira utuntu akora akoresheje uruhu rw'iwacu muri Ethiopia. In our house in the living room. Kandi ibyo ubucuruzi yakoraga yabukoreraga muri salo mu nzu y'iwacu. Uh, uh, and that was maybe five, six years ago. Hachi imyaka itanu itandatu. Today, uyu munsi, my wife uh, uh, she's the number four exporter of leather, finished leather in our country. Uyu munsi ubwo mvuga umufasha wanje ari mu bantu nuwa kane muri Ethiopia yose ugurisha uruhu hanze ya Ethiopia. My, my wife is my hero. Umufasha wanje ni intwari kuri jewe because she produce something koko atanga umusaruro she produce something atanga umusaruro umufasha wanje starting from our living room yatangire muri salo yo inzu yacu with a small opportunity afita mahirwe make now she exports to foreign countries uyu munsi agurisha uruhu mu bihugu byo hanze because of an opportunity kubera mahirwe amen amen This is an opportunity that came because she used the opportunity that she heard. Aya na mahirwe ya musanze kuko yari yamaze kwitegura gukoresha mahirwe amurimo. And you know behind every successful woman is a praying man. Kandi murabizi ko inyuma y'umugore wese wateye imbere haba hari umugabo umwingingira amusengera ngo atere imbere. I said that right. Nabivuze neza ndabizi. Uh, uh my brother Saleh fite murumuna wange witwa Saleh he, he, 
he, he, we ministered, we've ministered together since we started. I we started ministry 23 years ago. Twa, we've been together ever since then. Twatangiye umurimo w'Imana hashize imyaka 23 tuturi kumwe dukorera Imana. He's preaching today at home in our church. Uyu munsi niwe wabwirije mu rusengero rwo rw'iwacu. A few years ago in prayer. Hashize imyaka mike twari mu masengesho. God put an idea in him. Imana imuhigitekerezo. And he worked that idea. Uh, he, he likes barbecue sauce, ketchup, and there's a special akabanga. Uh, uh, there's an Ethiopian akabanga. <laughs> Noneho uwo murumuna we akunda ketchup akunda kabanga ariko akabanga ko muri Ethiopia urusenda rwo muri Ethiopia na barbecue sauce because he saw all the ketchup that's in the stores is very it tastes like like uh, petrol Yarebye ketchup bagurishaga mu maduka akumva mu kanwa imeze nk'iri mu essence He goes to his kitchen and starts doing like this None hajya mu gikona atangira guteka no gutegura ketchup ye Every now and then he would come taste Uyu munsi buri munsi akakubira ngo ngwino wumve uko ketchup nakoze imeze. And I couldn't be, you know because if it's somebody else okay I know this man I could not believe what he's producing. Iya barundi muntu wenda nari kwemera ibyo ari makora ariko uyu ni murumuna wanje sinashobora kwiyumvisha ikintu nawe ashaka guhimba ketchup ye. A few this last year a chain of stores grocery stores picked up his his barbecue sauce and ketchup and and akabanga Ari ku mwaka ushize amaduka na supermarché menshi yemeye kumurangurira ketchup barbecue sauce nakabanga yikoreriwe mu rugo And today they are struggling to keep up with the demand Uyo munsi rero biramugora gutanga umusaruro ungana nibyo amaduka amusaba Because if you work on the opportunity Iyo ukoresheje amahirwe macyo ufite Opportunity will come looking for you Ahamagaza andi mahirwe kugusanga Amen. 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 My brothers have a media company. Fitundi murumuna wange ufite company yitangaza makuru. And and they start now producing. If any of you fly Ethiopian Airlines today. Harabantu bajya bagenda mu ndege za Ethiopian Airlines hano. Check the in-flight magazine. Muzarebe magazine ibiri mu ndege ya Ethiopian Airlines. That's my brothers. Yandi kwa na murumuna wange. 2 years ago they were voted in the top 5 of in-flight magazines in the world. Mu myaka ibiri shize icyo kitangaza makuru muri umuna wange atanga muri Ethiopian Airlines cyatowe muri bitanu bya mbere kwisi biboneka mu ndege. If you if you use the opportunity that God has given you. Ukoresheje neza rero amahirwe Imana yaguteretse mu. Opportunity will come looking for you. Ayo mahirwe azahamagaza ndi yo hanze kuza gushaka. This shirt that I'm wearing today. Iyi uh, shati namba yuyu munsi. I love wearing this shirt. Iyi shati jewe nkunda kuyambara. A few years ago a girl got saved in our church a new Christian. Imyaka mikishize hari umwana wo mukobwa wakijijwe mu rusengero rwacu. And when she got saved God put a spirit of design and and fashion inside of her. But she said I want to do righteous fashion. Akimara gukizwa Imana itereka mu mutima we ishyaka ryo gukora imideri n'imyenda ariko aravuga ati yewe ndashaka gukora imyenda ikiranutse cyangwa sihesha Imana icyubahiro And so I encouraged her I said if you make for me I will wear your clothes Ndangije mutera morale ndamubwira nti uzi nibindi n'unkorera mashati yewe nzajya nambara imyenda yawe So what you are looking at today is a form design Ideri byo mubona ni imyendo wa mukobwa ndodera She now has a dream to go to Paris and then she says I I need I've learned everything there is to isn't this one Murabona namba ya neza se muri iki gitondo Produce Gutanga umusaruro Now you say she's just a new Christian she only had manner one day why are you how can she go ahead of us like that None nakubaza nti ko yarakiri muto mu gakiza ari bwa gikizwa yari emani igihe gito ari kagahita atangira umusaruro gutanga umusaruro wowe urwitwaza ufite nuruhe It's not fair Ushaka kuvuga uto ya ntabwo bikwiye 
No, remember 40 years was never the plan of God for the children of Israel. So 40 years was because today they did not hear his voice. That's why God says again and again and again today. If you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. If Africa is to arise, one thing you have to realize is that the world is controlled economically. Africa will only be as strong as it is economically. There is a saying that the Dutch have. It says the one who pays the bill uh, the one who pays the bills makes the rules. And today in Africa, the one who pays the bills is making the rules. And it has been that way for far too long. It is time for Africa to arise. And the way Africa will arise is when it produces produce use the opportunity God has given you don't expect your livelihood to be determined by your work or your job your job is good be faithful for this season but be planning for the time when you will be the boss yourself. And when you will provide employment for others. That you would be the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. That you would have the resources to make the rules and the rules that you make will glorify your father in heaven amen amen just today just a small shift look at your phone again look at your thinking process again at your desire for agriculture again. Look at, your, look at your passion for speaking. Look at that again. Look at your athletic ability again. You are full of opportunities. The world is waiting for you. Africa is waiting for you. Could we all stand on our feet, please? Today the manna stops. Today the manna stops. Today the manna stops. Today we will eat the produce of our of the land. It's a new day. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We hear your voice today. We will no longer complain, Father. You have given us something. You have given us something. We have an opportunity now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that this would be the generation that possesses the promised land, that, that, that creates a solution that becomes the change that Africa has been waiting for. May all nations of the world be blessed because of somebody's idea. Because of somebody's invention. Because, because somebody took advantage of 
of their opportunity. You said in your word, Father, that he who began the good work is faithful to complete it. When we got born again, we started a journey. And I thank you that you are the author and the finisher but Father God may not one person under the sound of my voice die in the land of manna manna was never the plan what is it is never the plan manna is not our destiny Father God, help us to cross over and eat the produce of the land today. Today we hear your voice. Today we move today we start something no more praising God and going back to manna we praise God and we produce give you all the praise in Jesus God bless you all thank you love you Let's clap for the Lord one more time. May God give us more opportunities. Use them. We thank you God for the word. We thank you Lord. That you, that you have stopped man so we can eat what we have produced. Enter in a new place. Generation that complains we have stopped it. And now we are a generation that received your blessings. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus take laziness out of us take us lack of vision to not look in the name of Jesus open our eyes open our hearts so we can hear you to we obey you and we enter into our destiny we know Lord you have good plans let us leave for a short term to long term in the name of Jesus Amen, Amen. we will meet at 4 at the stadium if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Savior come forward we will ask you to come and to receive Jesus the rest of us, let's go with the Lord. And for those who have cars, let's be quick so we can let others come. We're waiting for you to come and receive Jesus. Come and, come and receive Jesus. 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 Come receive Jesus. Come and receive Jesus. We are waiting for you. Come and receive Jesus. In this moment. Shima yes. Io i fuse virada i a te je kavi ga comera ni fiti sha borjanyo ma We know what it is to receive Jesus we're waiting for you So get a kuchaya fuse So get a na hoyam gie We know what it is to receive Jesus We're waiting for you in this moment We know what it is to receive Jesus We wish he oi fuse Tu 
God, we thank you that you're good. We thank you, Lord. For those who are watching us on the radio, on television, on social media, who have received to receive you. In this moment, we pray for them for your salvation that enters in their hearts. That you be their king. That you be their savior in the name of Jesus. That you save them from sin. You died and you rose again for them. Cover them with the blood of Jesus and make them your children on the, this day.